Uh, uncle, please. I want to challenge this gem and see how much better I become. Uh, please? May I please? It's time for more Pokemon Emerald. And I am so excited for it. Genuinely excited to be playing this game. And here I am, right where I left off. I've just been standing there for days, staring at the sea. I've undergone a metamorphosis. My character's still sane, don't worry. Totally sane. I mean, realistically, that's what's happened, because I haven't played the game in a few days. Onward north to Mauville. New Pokemon I haven't seen before. Dire hit. I'll sell it. I'll sell it so I can buy more stuff at the at the game corner. Go away, Wingle. I already have one. I'm gonna fight this kid. Yeah, lead with C stick. Bring it. No, you didn't. There's nothing cool here. There's nothing cool on Route 110. Youngster Timmy, you're full of shit. You didn't even get that here. He's a liar. Surely there are not Aeron here. That's bullshit. Bullet seed it. For its the punishment of the strainer being a liar. Oh, win. My Pokemon are pretty buff, pretty powerful right now because I had to level them up a lot to beat Brawly, who demolished me twice, I think. I think it was two times, yeah. Yes. Those are good stat increases. I like the HP. Electric? Oh, well, I gotta. Can't put Wingo in. Can't put a Grimgo in. Wonder what that does here. Just Bullet Seed. It's only level 13. I'm guessing that I should be able to challenge the third gym tonight in this episode. Most likely. I can't think of too many things between the challenging of that gym and where I am right now. <coughs> Unless, of course, things have changed in Emerald relative to Sapphire. Kind of doubtful. Sure is. I guess you should have trained more. Oh, I remember this. This this is a rival battle. Okay, I can't walk into this with a paralyzed Pokemon. I must go back. Run back. Heal. Those are here. Ugh. Be gone. Be gone, vile Pikachu mutant. Go back to the lab that spawned you. <laughs> Their work wasn't done yet. 
It still looks too much like Pikachu. Keep experimenting, please. Very good. I also kind of wonder... Maybe I should, uh... Maybe I should grab a super potion if I can buy those? Could be good to have one. One or two. What do you got? Yes! Super potion. I wonder if Brawly was getting his super potions shipped in from Slateport. Suspicious that's what he was doing. There was no Pokemart on that island, so he had to get a super potion somewhere, you know? Sneaky asshole. Let's see what I can sell. It's not much, but... Better than having it take up an inventory spot. Oh, I have soda pop. 60 HP points. I forgot. So I'm flush with HP healing moves or items now. Okay. I can still use the super potions. I'm sure they'll come in handy eventually. Alright. Not sure what he'll lead with. But my Pokemon are pretty strong. May only be two of them, but I'm confident in our chances. Oh, it's the other the other mutant variant. Be gone! Okay. Big battle coming up, big battle. It's that Brendan asshole. Get him there. Just, just standing around, looking dumb. Hey, bugger, so this is where you were. How's it going? Have you been raising your Pokemon? I'll check for ya. Oh no. Poor choice to lead with. That's not good. Unfortunate, but I have to switch. Hopefully I can just obliterate it and sleep doesn't last too long or be too much of a problem. Heyo? Yes! Grimgold is powerful! Hmm. I'm torn. On one hand, my Wingle is about to fall asleep. On the other hand, like, Sadistic is both... Well, it's mainly vulnerable to a Wingle. Its grass moves will be neutral damaging-wise, and it'll be weak to, like, a wing attack if it knows that. And it probably does, because I know that mine learned that at level 13. This is so... This is just a hard decision. Wingle... Shit. You know... <clears throat> I didn't expect such a hard decision. Damn it. Damn it, Pokemon. Why do you have to be so hard? Just fucking leave Grimgo in. 
Just leave it in. It can take whatever attacks his dishes out. Probably a weak one. What level is it? 18. It can handle. I can handle it. I can just use soda pops and, you know, just force soda pop and super potion down Gringle's gullet if it needs it. Well, it's sleeping. Just a sleeping Wingle just being force fed soda pop to keep it alive. <laughs> that might happen. I'm sorry if you have to witness that audience. I'm sorry if it comes to this. I will do what's necessary to win. See, it wasn't that bad. I'm even going to just have Grimgold guzzle down a soda pop in his face. Like, like I just don't care, like I'm all casual. Grimgold's just drinking soda. Don't care. Okay. Finish it off. I think I was a little too freaked out about this battle. I think it's, like, not that big a deal. But you never know. Grovile? Hmm. I have wing attack, so I'm gonna stick with Grimgull. Grimgull all the way. Unless he has another one. Did he have a fourth? Not a problem. Nice. I wish it would get a little attack, but it will. Hmm, you're pretty good. Damn right I am. Booger, you've trained without me noticing. Good enough. Here, take this. Good, you're not a... You're not a total worthless dipshit. Give me that. That's an item finder. Use it to root around for items that aren't visible. If it senses something, it emits a sound. Anyway, I'm off to look... For new Pokemon. Get out of here. Your presence infuriates me. Good. Slowly carrying out revenge against him for the first loss of the game that he handed me in my first battle of the game. What the hell are they doing? I'm gonna have to investigate these two. They were not in Sapphire. That stands out to me immediately when I see two weirdos jogging, facing each other in place. My Pokemon healed. They might be they might be trainers. Probably should use a potion. He is. Booker stands down from no one. Not collectors. Not anyone. Lomber. Lombre. I like calling it Lomber. Lomber. <laughs> Five hits. Very rarely get five. Yeah, 
and just keep bullet eating. I love how that move has a lot of PP. Makes up for its low power a little bit because it has so much PP, you know. You have a Nuzleaf? I can't believe it. As tempting as it is to embarrass his with mine, I have to exploit a flying move. Level 14. I'm out of your league. You can't hang with me, Collector. Collector Edwin. Complete your collection. Your type disgusts me. You collect Pokemon like they're just objects to be placed on your shelf and displayed. I don't want his contact. Damn it. Wanted to fit the other one. Throttle time? If I can't groove, I get left behind? I think he might be from like 1995. Yep, 1995, called it. Look at that. That's exactly what someone on TV at the time would look like if they were in a band. Let's see. I'm going to keep getting a sadistic more experience here, because as I've mentioned before, I'm going to have to rely on this thing primarily in a gym that specializes in electric types. I don't think I'm going to come across another Pokemon I want to use on my team long term before then. I'm very stubborn and picky about the Pokemon I use, so I'm sticking just with these two until I find one I want. I'll find them eventually. I'll get to the others. I think I know roughly where to find the other Pokemon I want. Playing through Sapphire recently helps with that. Also got a TM for that, I think. It's kind of interesting. I sort of want to try it out. Torment. I mean, that's. You gotta admit, it kind of sounds tailor made for a Pokemon called Sadistic. Pretty damn sure I'm not gonna want to use growth long term. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. It'd be more worth keeping if it like 
raised special attack sharply by two stages. One stage is just not worth investing a turn, investing a move in. And, you know, getting hit by the opponent or whatever. Not convinced Seedistica has the staying power to be bulking up its stats. It's gotta just like get to attacking right away. Damn these things. There's so many. You gonna fight me? <gasps> yep. You fell off the cycling road? This person probably has a concussion. No, you need to see a doctor probably. I don't care that you're wearing a helmet, like... It's hard to tell how high that is with the GBA perspective, but... Could have been a nasty fall. I mean, it's a cycling road built. I mean, it's got to be at least six feet high to allow people to pass underneath it, because I just walked underneath it. I'm over six feet tall in real life, so... I think of that. You have to make your bridge tall enough for tall people... high enough for tall people to get under it. Yeah, we'll just eat it. Ugh, that sucks. Critical hit doesn't suck. This is why you carry lots of bullets eating ammunition. Even when you hit two times, you can probably still take a Pokemon that's resistant against it out. Just takes a little while. It is a little aggravating. Just kill it. I'm glad that common everyday trainers don't carry potions and heal their Pokemon constantly. That would be really annoying. Okay. This guy should be psychic? This was a psychic trainer, I believe, in... Sapphire, so my dark type should be good to use. I don't believe him. I don't believe in foresight. You're lying, Edward. You're a fraud. Psychics. Can you believe that shit? People who think they're psychics. I am going to fake out your Abra. Psych. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, you didn't prophesize that. Psych. You got killed in one hit. Shining light is because your Abra is dying. My Nuzleaf killed your Abra and it's seeing the light. Do you do you understand? Seek medical attention for that thing. He probably fell off the bridge too. 
Only he didn't have a helmet. So he got a worse concussion. Now he thinks he's a psychic. Figured it out. My detective work figured out what was going on with both of those people there. <laughs> kind of a gauntlet of a route, that one. I don't think I actually even went on Cycling Road when I played Sapphire. If I did ever do it, it was years and years ago. Surprise! For a tentacle. Pick out. With these weak opponents that are so low level, I can just do that and kill them in one hit. It's glorious. Keep doing it. Pick out. Fuck. Damn it, it backfired. Nature power? Take a swift. Nice. Swift is probably more powerful than the fake out, so not surprising. Fight through the confusion. Yes. That's right. Shoot up that Whalmer with bullet seed. <laughs> Shoot up the next Whalmer with bullet seed too. Who cares if they're endangered? I mean, if they're anything like real-world whales, they'd probably be in danger. Not to be, not to be too real, but let's be honest. Focus on the floater. Is he talking about the cycling road? Because there are people on both roads, so he's full of crap. And probably Pokemon get up on the cycling road all the time too. What's stopping them? Flying type. What's stopping a bird from landing up there? Bird but bird Pokemon. Finally in Mobile. I don't watch TV. This guy's obsessed with TV. I mean, maybe they're useful in this game. In real life, I don't find TV that useful. <laughs> Except for just playing video games on. And watching things that I own on. Like, not TV, of any kind. He finds it degrading? Rock Smash Dude is more to those liking? He's very pumped up. He doesn't look like the sort of guy who would say woohoo and call himself dude. He looks like a scientist. Links for the HM, dude. I 
And I need a badge, yeah. To use it. Let's go ahead and heal my Pokemon. Jeez, getting through that route took longer than I thought. Maybe I actually won't get to challenging this gym in this episode. I don't like to let these things go like longer than an hour, otherwise they take forever to render and upload. An hour's a nice length. Please spot for all. My goal is to buy a TM from this place. One or two TMs, if I can. I'm gonna need a ca case for my coins. Coin case. Who has the coin case? Yeah, who has it? Young lady next door. That's right, she wants Harbor Mail. I remember this in Sapphire, she gives she gives you a coin case if you bring her Harbor Mail. I'll go back there and do that, but no need to just yet. No rush. I'm not rich enough to buy what I want anyway. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give Wally like a very nerdy, nasally voice. Because I just think that's the kind of character he probably is. Uh, Uncle, please. I wanna challenge this gem and see how much better I become. Please? May I please? Now hold on, Wally. Uh, okay, I don't need to do his voice. I'm not pushing it. By combined forces of with Ralt, we can beat anyone. Couldn't beat me. I dare you. I dare you to challenge us. I've gotten a lot stronger since we met. Booker, I want you and my uncle to understand that. Booker, please. Will you have a battle with me? Hell yes. I would be delighted to embarrass you, you little shit. Booger, thank you. Okay, here I come. Come get your whooping, you little shit. I'm going to... I'm going to... Mercilessly bullet seed your ults. Do you understand this? Mercilessly. Ah, you were spared only by the fact that it hit nearly twice. Oh, you're gonna use double team? If nature power uses swift, I'll have a way around that. Bam. 100% accuracy. Your double team is nothing. Do you see how I've demolished your dreams? That's right. He has nothing to say. He is swallowed by despair. His aspirations shattered. Look into those eyes. His hope is gone. That's right. Hey, lost. Damn right you did. That'll teach you. Get out of here, Wally. 
uncle, I'll go back to Verdant Turf. Booger, thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough just to have Pokemon and make them battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. You dumb little nerd. Yes, I was very patient. Very patient with him. I'm sure you would enjoy it too, because that's less time that you have to spend babysitting him. Oh, it's this creepy guy again. You were watching it? What business is it of yours? That's right, I held nothing back. And he deserved it. <laughs> That's right, he gets it. A real Pokemon battle is about brutality. Totally merciless brutality. That's what Pokemon's all about. That guy's a sadistic spectator of my ex. <laughs> no, we're good. We don't need heal. Let's just let's just go to Bird and Turf real quick. Oh, it's not gonna be real quick. You know what? I underestimated just how many uh, trainers there were around here to fight. And I want to fight these trainers before I go and challenge that gen. I don't want to be embarrassed for a consecutive gym in a row. I don't want that to happen. That would devastate me. You left it at the daycare. What a casual. Mm, leaving it at a, day, at a daycare. That's how you tell your Pokemon you don't care about them. You leave them in a daycare because you're too busy to look after them. Too busy to look after them. Can you believe these people? They call themselves trainers. This guy can't decide if he wants to be a triathlete or a trainer. Make up your mind, Dylan. Are you a triathlete or a trainer? You can't just be both. You know one's gonna suffer if you do both. Pick one. Choose an identity. Take out your doduo. I don't even care that I'm at a type disadvantage. See? Lynched ya. Take that. You're not even gonna touch me. What else you got? Nothing. See what I mean? If he had focused on being a trainer, Maybe he would have had a chance. Instead, his doduo is weak because he spent too much time training his triathlete abilities and not his training abilities, Pokemon training abilities. Didn't train his Pokemon, you know? Yeah, they have to be strong too. What a dipshit, you don't even know. No, I don't want your contact. Get the fuck out. I'm never gonna call you. And if you call me, I'm gonna not pick up. Am I good? He didn't touch us? Yeah. You could. But I can't promise it will be pleasant for you. Oh fuck, it's one of these assholes who has six Pokemon. Damn breeders. Overpopulation is a problem in natural environments, you know. You shouldn't just breed until you just have a team of six shitty Pokemon like you do. Every one of them will be a waste of my time. Every one of them. Level 26 versus 11. All a waste.
wasting your Wismer. Halo? Yeah, I'll go ahead and protect my grass tape. Taylor were nasty. Quite nasty. Quite nasty. The Taylor war. They pick your eyeballs out and eat them. If you don't evade their vicious attacks and pursuits. That's just a part of the Pokedex entry for Taylor that was edited out because it was deemed too too gruesome for the average person to know, but you know, it's something that happens and people just don't like to acknowledge it. Pokemon World isn't pretty all the time. Sometimes it's quite dark. Quite, quite dark. Fake it out. I'm enjoying that move. Makuhita, my arch nemesis. It destroyed me. Brawly's Makuhita. One of these things KO'd Cedistic. Like, Brawly's Makuhita KO'd Cedistic twice. Cedar Stick was just dragged out of its Pokeball and just BAM! Vital thrown to death. Twice. It needs to take out... something on one of these. This needs to happen. The weak one. Yeah. Go ahead. Get your catharsis, Cedar Stick. I know you've been dreaming about this. There was no way that it was going to take more than one bullet seed. Let's just say that. Yeah, yeah. Get the fodder out of here. Next. Goodness, this is the last one. I kind of like Puchiena and Mightyena. Just pure dark types, sort of based on a wolf or hyena. I think I trained one a long time ago. Just a little bit. I didn't use it a ton. Why does everybody want to be registered in my Pokenav? It's just like why? I don't want to know you. Do you understand? I don't want to know you. I don't want to contact you. I don't want to converse with you. Double battle time. Oh gosh. High school students? Can't stand high school students. Even though I used to be one not that long ago, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's all relative. It's all relative. That's all I'm gonna say. Yes. Get vengeance on another Makuhita. Just take it out. Give it no chance. No chance. Gone. Yeah. 
gotta go through all these battles. All these battles must happen so I do not get embarrassed in a gym again. Still traumatized. I'm still traumatized. My Pokemon are traumatized. No, I'm not gonna let you win. You have to learn that life is cruel and unforgiving. Full of misery and despair. Everybody here. Everybody is demanding they go in my Pokenav. Why? Whatever. Whatever. Another triathlete. Oh, so they trained with their Pokemon. You still definitely neglected something about your Pokemon's training, I'm sure. So you made them good at running. Big deal. You didn't make them good at battling. You didn't teach them about the horrors of battle and war. That's what a trainer is supposed to do, didn't you know that? Pokemon battling is hell. You have to teach your Pokemon. Do you expect that? You need a lot more than practice. Just give up. Another one. I wonder if with time stopped any of them are ever gonna want rematches. Maybe not because of my battery being dead, you know. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm fine with that, that's okay. It would have been kind of cool. But if if it doesn't happen, that's fine. We're good. Just another one. The air is tasty here. That's an odd thing to say. What an odd child. That child may have been inhaling some fumes somewhere. I'm just saying. Oh, is it? She probably has a fighting type. Meditate? I think I can handle it. Oh, let's see brutality. I'm 10 levels higher. I should be able to do this. Damn it. Not bide. What if I torment you while you're biting? You know, you're over there trying to bide, and I'm just sitting over here tormenting you? Heh. How you like that? Get distracted. Become enraged. Heh. That's right. I tormented you into failing. What was he? Shit. These moves are so cheap. Fucking detect and protect. I hate those moves. Anything that ends in act. It's all bullshit. Just stupid delay moves that make you waste one of your PP. Making me waste PP. Like, don't. You don't prove anything by doing that. Battle girl? More like. More like petty exercise and futility girl. You know? Petty exercise and futility, girl. That's how I remember you. Why is there someone bouncing back and forth between these two? Running back and forth. It's so odd. I'm noticing more odd behavior in the NPCs in Emerald relative to Sapphire. They're all acting really weird, man. 
running in place, facing each other, running back and forth between two people, just... People are weird here. Make it out. Good. It is astonishing, isn't it? That I can just KO you with one move. You know... I'm good. I don't need any psychic Pokemon. I'm good. I prefer dark types. I'm more, like... Dark and disturbed and disaffected. And, like, dark types appeal to me more. I mean, maybe in Gen 1, when dark types didn't exist, maybe I would use a psychic type. Maybe a psychic type back then. But when dark type was introduced in Gen 2, immediately in love. Immediately in love with that type, of course. Because I've been through lots of dark shit. Of course lots of people have. It's really just a matter of taste. Fake out his doduo. Or her doduo. Yeah, flinch it. Me, I do gravitate towards dark things, though. Death Metal. Castlevania video games. Dracula movies, other dark things, things of a dark nature, you know, they appeal to me. Dark Souls games, oh, love the Dark Souls games. Who the fuck is that? Oh, fuck, it's Wally. Oh, hello, Booker. I just wanted to tell you that my uncle bought me a Pokenav. Oh, fucking great. Just what I needed. There he's got one. Now I can get in touch with you anytime, Booker. Yay. I'm so happy. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Why did his uncle buy him a Pokenav? He's doing this on purpose. He's doing this because he knows now we're always going to spend more time calling me and irritating the fuck out of me instead of him. He's shunting away the Wally irritation and burden of raising that little shit. I don't want it. Fuck off. <laughs> Raise your own dependent. Bug maniac. I like these guys. They're like, they're like the bug catchers, but all grown up, and they're still like obsessed with bugs. And that's what it looks like when you're an adult now, and obsessed with bugs. It's kind of frightening. Hmm. Grass poison. Or bug poison. It's a bug poison type. Fake it out! Oh shit, it knows Gust. Oh, but it's super weak. Just nature power. Nature power it. That should do it. One more of those. I'm kind of impressed he has a little 16 dust tox. That's a little more than... It's a little more rare, at least, than what a lot of other people have. Dust tox and beauty five, not too many of those. I'm actually gonna keep C-Dust again. I know it seems, seems weird, but... Um, 
I want to get it as buff as possible before the next gen, and that means taking on even Pokemon it's type mismatched against. See, it only has Absorb. Pathetic. It's even weaker than your Dust Ox. You can do nothing. These battles are kind of laughable. But still useful. Still useful for accumulating experience. My second gym battle has already illustrated what happens when you get overconfident in Pokemon. It is only natural. And it's only natural that you do what you want to do and follow your heart, you know? Can't blame that guy for that. Good for him. Wish I could do that more in my real life. Okay. Almost through, almost through with this route. What do we have here? A great ball. Oh, I found a repel. Well then you don't mind me trampling all over them. You're welcome. That's another one. You have a wingle. Pathetic excuse for a wingle. Why do they bother? It's just it's just so pointless to have six Pokemon if they're this under leveled. This isn't a challenge, Lydia. You could have done so much better with your life, Lydia. Can't you see that your Goldeen is a worthless piece of shit? Can't you see it? What next? Rosalia? I'll go ahead and switch for that. Just to damage it quicker. Just to one-hit KO it, you know, easier. Shroomish. Keep the crumb going. It's really hard for any battle against one of these breeder weirdos to be fun and not get stale. Like, once you beat their first three or four Pokemon, it's like, okay, like, what, what time is it? Like, just to end it, you know? You just start to zone out. Like, you just start getting bored. If only you had six decently leveled Pokemon, then you could be like fun to fight. Maybe you'd give a useful amount of experience too. Keep making Cedar Stick stronger. Bullet seed that cat. Good. 
Your skitty's a joke. It's nothing. No, they're not growing properly. She's completely oblivious. She's completely oblivious to how shittily she strained her Pokemon and how low level they are. Do you see the level disparity between mine and yours? Idiot. These people on this route. I hope to not see you again. Oh, fuck. They better not all, like, call me randomly. I'll get irritated. Character traits? What the fuck are you talking about? That's not even a thing. That's not even a mechanic. Character traits. That sounds like some bullshit thing that someone in the Pokemon anime made up. That never is relevant or applies to the video games. Somehow there was a route that was short in distance, but just felt so long. <laughs> it was interesting, though. Few differences there, I noticed, from Sapphire. I think there are more trainers in this game, just generally. Did you know? I really don't care about the battle tent stuff. Cancelled. What if the wind just shifts a little, you know? Couldn't couldn't the volcanic ash just come right here? If it just blew a little different direction? Pretty sure that could happen. Weather's you know, weather changes. to say hmm. I don't know how it could be Pokemon giving him hope because his Ralts has been shit like I battled it dude and I can vouch like firsthand it's shit it's not good he's not gonna go anywhere as a trainer he has no hope he's his path as a trainer will end in miserable failure. Just to, just saying. I will be a part of his failure, too. I will obliterate him again and again, again and again. I've lost to you, Booker, but I'm not feeling down anymore, because I have no purpose in life. Together with my Ralt, I'm going to challenge Pokemon gems and become a great trainer. Please watch me, Booker. I'm going to be stronger than you. He's gonna be stronger than me. <laughs> when I do, I'm going to challenge you to do another battle. <laughs> you do that. You do that. Oh, there's a Pokemon picture box. Hmm. I'm going to destroy you, Wally, and I'm going to have fun doing it. I already talked to him. Well, of course. What else would you expect? 
Duh. Duh, it likes me. I guess that's all to this place. Maybe I should just go in this cave and just check out what's going on on this side. Actually, I remember... I think there's a little side cave here. Side cave entrance. Exit. I think there's someone to fight out there, probably. And I'm looking for a fight. All the time. Always want to fight. I only am a trainer to fight. Fighting's my purpose. Oh, not a trainer, just a pathetic dude who lost his glasses. If I find them, I'm not going to give them back. I'm just going to keep them. Just letting you know, guy. I am not benevolent. I am not generous. I am out for number one. Looking for your glasses so I can steal them. Looking for your glasses so I can steal them. Wait, didn't I get an item finder? Treasures. I must find them. Whatever he lost. Them, it, whatever it is. He said glasses, so I say them. Wait. Are they right in front of him? Like, what the fuck? Why can't I find them? Now I'm getting aggravated. Is there really? Or is this just a joke? I don't get it. I think I found the glasses he dropped in Sapphire. Somewhere. Here. Somewhere. Am I going crazy? Have I checked every square? Or am I missing something? What the fuck? I don't have time for this shit. Damn it. I tried. You can't say I didn't try. I tried. Okay, I tried. You just keep looking for those glasses for eternity. I don't know. Maybe they do call it a mountain Pokemon. Are you so obsessed with labels, Mike? Who cares? I don't call your Geodude a mountain Pokemon, I call it a dead Pokemon after I bullet seed it to death. He's the only trainer in this cave, as far as I remember. Nice. Geo dude again. I 
Rock ground types are the wrong types to use against my team right now. Either my Pokemon can just one hit KO him. Good. Not sure how high level Watson's Pokemon are. <gasps> Grimgore's evolving! I honestly didn't know it evolved at level 25. Yes! Pelipper! Attacked? No, that move sucks. Don't even have to think about it. Look at that. It's beautiful. I mean, and yeah, it looks a little goofy. And actually, historically, I've always thought it looked too goofy to even ever want to use it, but it came around recently. It only took about 15 years. Now I like it. <laughs> Look at it. How can you not like it, Pelipper? Its beak is like larger than the entire size of its body, its lower beak pouch. Excellent. Very thrilled about that. Max either. He just it could learn that. I think I'm gonna need a badge to use it though. Another option, if I didn't want C just to to know that move, would be to teach it to the mudcup I started with. I'll be able to smash some rocks one way or another. Whatever I decide. Some member of my team, though, is going to know Rock Smash. Yes, the team I take through the Elite Four. I'm gonna have a self-sufficient HM move using Pokemon team. By the time I'm... By the time I have six. Or maybe even fewer. If I just get one or two more, we'll see. Anyway, I think I've conquered everybody around here, and I think it's probably going to be time to challenge the gym pretty soon. The cheer for the electrifying man. We'll see. Right over cycles. It's another thing I gotta do. Get a bicycle. However, I'm going to save any further things I do for the next video, next episode. So, till then. <laughs>